Hello YouTube. Today we are going to see Universal Control finally released with macOS Monterey 12.3 and iPadOS 15.4 and this is running on my iPad mini 5, the 5th generation iPad mini and the MacBook Pro the 2016 model with the dual core i5 processor. So this is quite old uh, in terms of uh, I guess the last supported devices in each of the MacBook Pro and even the iPad mini. So for uh, the compatibility list, like you guys can uh, check out the description. So this is how seamless it works even with these older devices. So there is no lag or latency here. So this just works fine like with the ecosystem. I can just copy a photo from my iPad to the Mac. And also like I can copy the photo that is present in the Mac to the iPad. So this uh, transition is quite seamless. So this is not released to public yet. So uh, both are in uh, beta version. So uh, as you can go to uh, betaprofiles.com and like you can download the beta profile for your device. So this is an iPad, so I'm gonna install this. And like it installs a beta profile. So if you go into your settings menu, so then general and device management. So I have already installed the beta profile on my iPad. And once that is done, so you can go to again general and so uh, sorry so to the software update section and you guys should be able to see the software update uh, option available for iPadOS 15.4 and you can download that so uh, I think like if uh, you can skip this section so if you know how to download it on the Mac also so I'll leave a timeline below the description and so this is the beta profile again like in the same website we can get the beta profile for the Mac and we can download the Monterey 12.3. So you can download the beta profile there. And once that's downloaded, so you need to install it. So don't try this on your work machines or something like that. So if you have a personal device and like not using for any mission critical purpose, so this is definitely fine. So no harm. And let me key in my password and once it's installed, so it also installs a feedback assistant, so you can give any feedback um, with the issues that you're facing so that developers can fix that. And once that is done, we'll be getting a software update pop up here and we can download the 12.3 beta. And right now, let me uh, update it now. And I can give all the necessary next uh, commands. So this is done now and also on my ipad so it's getting downloaded so let's wait for uh, both of things to complete so right now we have mac os monterey 12.3 and ipad os 15.4 on both of our devices and we are all set to go so to begin with we'll go to settings and when you go to the display settings so there is an advanced tab so when you click on that so it's automatically selected so there is no need to uh, select anything or like if you want you can even select this automatically reconnect to nearby mac so which is uh, again in beta so i have enabled even that and i can close it and let me come to the ipad so on, on your ipad so if you go to settings and airplane handoff and handoff has to be enabled to for, for this to work also like we need a wi-fi and bluetooth and we should be on the same wi-fi signal and also within 10 meters or 30 feet distance of both the devices so all the setup is done so right now i have the cursor so it's just seamless there is no turning on anything so if you just uh, get the cursor to the edge so you get a kind of a door a door opening to your ipad and if you just break the door and go in so it just goes so this is only for the first time you'll get this door uh, opening kind of thing and i can just adjust anything or like uh, this is the photo so i can swipe between the photos and let me go back so all this i'm controlling with the trackpad on my macbook pro and it's pretty seamless even scrolling or like this multitasking and i can switch between the apps so right now i'm on the browser so right this is uh, safari so let me key in the website address the url so i can do it with the keyboard so there is uh, no need to have any external keyboard or mouse for the ipad now 
so all we can control it with the mac so if you have a imac so even those keyboards and mouse can be used to control your ipad too again this is pretty much helpful in productivity apps so right now i have opened notes app so this is a native uh, mac application so it also uh, works on the ipad so before that let's go into the display settings so you get this uh, display icon over the menu bar and so there you can see the arrangement of the ipad and the mac right now we are having it on the right side so it's on the right side i'm not sure if it automatically um, aligns itself so we'll check that in a while so before that so right now i'm copying a table uh, with the text from the notes application so here uh, for a change like let's check out some different applications so i have microsoft notes or OneNote. so this is a different application it's not a native app but still we can do the copy paste here so i'm clicking on control on my mac and like uh, control or command button on mac and command v should paste it here and boom we have it here so all the details from the mac it has been transferred to the ipad so it's quite seamless and let's try with the photo so i have the photo on desktop and as you can notice it's quite seamless and directly i can just paste it in the OneNote application so let me place it over here and boom we have it and also i can make all the changes with the trackpad of uh, macbook pro so i do not require any uh, external mouse for this for ipad and i can do all the manipulations and i just can open it and even close so this is the setup i am having so i am having an external monitor connected to uh, the macbook pro and let me check out uh, if we can use the universal control even still and can we move the no we cannot move any uh, desktops or uh, i mean like any windows with the universal control so it will just make the ipad into a mac os device then so i am using an external mouse the logitech uh, mx master mouse so for this so even this device which is connected to my mac it works seamlessly with the ipad so as you can notice so i'm able to navigate around to photos and i'm seamlessly able to come back to the desktop and even the monitor which i have connected so but i'm facing this one issue so right now i'm having the ipad down and if i just place it here it just snaps back uh, to the top position so i'm still not sure maybe uh, with the beta version like we are having this issue and should be ironed out with the public release so right now I transferred it to the left side and no, it doesn't automatically align itself. So I need to do that manually. And again, even with the left side alignment, it just pops uh, to the top of it, but fine. So right now I have disconnected my monitor and right now we are having just the MacBook Pro and the iPad. So right now I'm having the iPad on the left side and as you can notice the orientation has uh, changed that in the display settings and let me just move it to a little bit bottom so right now it's just in perfect sync so i can just move the cursor seamlessly around both the devices so let me go into imovie so can we copy a photo uh, directly to imovie uh, let's try uh, no so i need to minimize this so but still i can able to copy the photo so for example this photo I need to copy it to this uh, particular movie that I'm making and boom we have it here and then I can just uh, try to open iMovie and I can import that photo so this way we can just uh, copy paste the things around here maybe in some applications it is directly supported uh, and in some applications due to security reasons so it's not supported so that's all I had in this video and this universal control was the most awaited feature with the Mac OS Monterey and iPad OS 15 and finally we have it here and the ecosystem just works seamlessly. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more videos like this and as always stay safe and peace.